On April 22nd, the K-pop industry was shocked by reports of a power struggle between HYBE and Adore's CEO Min Heejin. The news saying that HYBE had requested Min Heejin to step down from her role circulated on the internet. As more details emerged, it was reported that HYBE found evidence suggesting Min Heejin intended to leave and take Adore and New Jeans with her. Other accusations included attempts to tarnish HYBE artists' reputation and leaking confidential information about trainees, including personal health details. While HYBE has their own side of the story, Min Heejin and Adore do too, and according to them, HYBE is the guilty party in all of this. Shortly after the reports about the audit, Adore released an official statement in which they accused Islet of copying New Jeans. They started by explaining HYBE's multi-label system, saying that all the labels under them, including Adore, can independently create music and pursue cultural diversity. Considering this, they found it ironic that HYBE was disregarding all the cultural achievements of New Jeans and subsequently Adore. Then the statement went on to mention Islet, which debuted in March under Belift Lab. Even back then, people on Online were claiming that the group's teaser pictures looked a lot like New Jeans. Now, Adore publicly accused Islet of copying New Jeans' hair, makeup, outfits, choreography, photography, video, and event appearances. Adore didn't blame B-Lift Lab only, as they said that Bang Shihyuk, who serves as HYBE's president, produced Islet's debut album and was behind the copying. The company said, HYBE, a leading K-pop company, is blinded by short-term profits and copies successful cultural content without any hesitation, producing banality instead of showing novelty. Then, the statement went on to claim that the copying hurt New Jeans' image and made them the center of controversy, so even though HYBE and B-Lift Lab were the ones who created the situation, New Jeans and Adore were the ones who were ultimately damaged by it. According to Adore, the two labels being affiliated doesn't give one label the right to copy another's achievements, not to mention Adore hasn't given anyone permission to copy New Jeans, not even to HYBE and B-Lift Lab because they don't want New Jeans and Islet to be associated in any way. Despite debuting under HYBE, they have no intention of tolerating any promotion that uses New Jeans' name. Name, like promoting Islet as New Jeans Juniors. In the statement, Adore said that they addressed the copying incident as well as a flurry of other issues to HYBE. However, rather than taking action and admitting their mistake, HYBE allegedly made excuses and took their time preparing for a response. Then, on April 22nd, Adore and Min Hee Jin were hit with a sudden notice that the latter would be dismissed and suspended as a CEO with the excuse that she was harming Adore's corporate value. So while Min Hee Jin was trying to protect the artistry of New Jeans and the time and effort she and her team put into making the group successful, HYBE decided to cut her off. In the end, Adore accused HYBE of media play and trying to turn the public against Adore and Min Hee Jin by feeding lies to the public. They even raised a very serious question asking, how can a legitimate protest to protect the cultural achievements of its artist New Jeans harm Adore's interests or how can it become an act of usurpation of Adore's management rights? They called out HYBE, B Lift Lab, and Bang Shi Hyuk for not apologizing and thinking that the whole issue would be over if they managed to kick Min Hee Jin out of HYBE. This statement caused caused quite a ruckus online. Mostly people were mad at Min Hee Jin for involving both New Jeans and Islet in this mess when the companies should have resolved this between themselves. Islet had already been dealing with a massive hate train, and the last thing they needed was Adore naming them in their statement as the reason for their conflict with HYBE. A Twitter user said, Min Hee Jin using Islet as a shield from her own controversy is just unprofessional, immature, and disgusting. The statement felt like primary school drama blown out of proportion. But in this case, we do need to point out that it wasn't Min Hee Jin who made this issue public as she spoke about Eyelit only to reveal what was behind the feud between her and HYBE's executives, most importantly Bang Shi Hyuk, since the information about the contract termination and audit were already all over the internet. That's not even the most controversial thing about Adore's statement, though. At the end of it, Min Hee Jin mentioned that they released it after discussing it with New Jeans and their legal representatives as they wanted to address any growing misunderstandings among fans and the public. Involving New Jeans' name in this and implying that the members also agreed that Eyelit was copying the group definitely definitely has the potential to hurt the members in the long run. This was probably done so she could get the support of New Jeans fans, but it was still considered wildly unprofessional of her to do so. However, it seems like their name wasn't exactly used without a reason. Several media outlets reported that the members' parents were the first ones to raise the issue of Islet's plagiarism. After reading the reports, the girls' parents apparently talked to Adore since they wanted to fix things. Adore then reached out to HYBE, with the company saying they wanted to chat with New Jeans' parents, but the latter didn't seem impressed. It seemed Seems like they considered HYBE not to be sincere in the end, though, and the parents eventually turned down the meeting. Netizens also called out another part of her statement that felt a bit hypocritical. Adore mentioned that they didn't like how HYBE was promoting Islet using New Jeans' name and saying that they were New Jeans Juniors. However, when New Jeans debuted, there were a lot of media articles that referred to them as BTS Little Sisters, yet Min Hee Jin seemingly had no problem with the fact that they were being associated with another HYBE group. A viral post on The Coup cited headlines from when New Jeans debuted and 
mentioned Minji and Hani's appearance in BTS's Permission to Dance music video. All in all, Min Hee Jin had only explained why the conflict with Hybe had started, but hadn't addressed the accusations against her, and with her statement, had only caused further damage to her and Adore's image. The next day, she did an interview where she actually talked about Hybe's claims against her, something people thought she should have done in the first place. On April 23rd, Ilgen Sports released their exclusive interview with Min Hee Jin, in which she called Hybe's claims that she was planning a coup ridiculous. She denied meeting with any investors and stealing executive rights. She explained, Because Hybe has 80% equity, it is impossible for me to seize the management rights. It is also impossible for a door to leave Hybe without their consent. But then why would Hybe claim such a thing? Well, according to Min Hee Jin, it's because she started bringing up the issues within the company a month ago. She said that once she talked about the problems that arose after Islet copied new jeans, she was notified that Hybe was planning to terminate her contract. As for the timing of Hybe's statements, Min Hee Jin chalked it all up to media play since she claims it happened only four days after she made an official complaint to the company. To her, it didn't make any sense for Hybe to speak publicly of the audit before they even had the results, and she believes that it was done on purpose as New Jeans are having a comeback soon. Min Hee Jin also emphasized that money wasn't her motive for raising issues with Hybe. As she had claimed before, she just felt that Hybe was wrongly portraying her as trying to take over management rights. She stressed she would never make such a mistake, citing the 50-50 case as an example. After this interview, people switched to Min Hee Jin's side but said that she should have explained this first and foremost. Netizens understand where she came from, especially knowing that she had put her blood, sweat, and tears into making new jeans. They also argued that Hybe might have just wanted her out of the company and leaked the story about the audit to the public so they could have a good reason to do it. There's a theory going around that Min Hee Jin might have found out something about Hybe that she wasn't supposed to know, and in response to it, Hybe came out with this audit story so that whatever Hee Jin said, the public wouldn't believe her. There's no reason why a big corporation like Hybe would make their issues so public if it wasn't to gain public favor. But more things came out, especially about Min Hee Jin's claims that this wasn't all about money. It's alleged that the dispute between Hybe and Min Hee Jin actually started over stock options, not the issue with Eyelit and New Jeans. According to an anonymous source, when Hybe created a door in 2021, Min Hee Jin got 15% of it as stock options, but she thought it was too low due to high taxes. Even after Hybe gave her more options in 2022, she still wasn't happy because taxes would take a big chunk of the benefits. Hybe then canceled the options last year and sold Min Hee Jin stocks at a low price because Adore hadn't made a profit before 2023, making her the second biggest shareholder with 18%. In 2022, Adore lost $4 billion from operations and $3.2 billion overall, but their attempts to make Min Hee Jin happy apparently didn't work. Earlier this year, Hybe heard a tip that Min Hee Jin might try to take over the company with a private equity fund manager, and they allegedly tried to fix things quietly, but the problem stuck around. Someone in the industry theorized that Min Hee Jin might have seen the similarities between Eyelit and New Jeans concepts as a good excuse to act. Another rumor is that Min Hee Jin dragged other groups' names into the issue. According to a Yonhop News report that came out on April 23rd, Min Hee Jin claimed that other groups, such as TWS and Rise, had copied New Jeans. They also reported that an anonymous source revealed during an audit that Min Hee Jin had spoken to an outsider about the Hybe chairman, suggesting he achieved success by copying her. The article hints that since joining Hybe, Min Hee Jin privately expressed the belief that BTS copied her. This is where she lost most of her support, despite the fact that these were just rumors from anonymous sources that cannot be confirmed in any way. But we need to be critical here and point out the obvious. Looking at this as an outsider, it seems like Hybe's very poor attempt at media play. Reports coming out about Min Hee Jin involving other groups, and especially BTS, can be just Hybe's tactic of turning the fandoms of said groups and netizens against Min Hee Jin. The most so-called incriminating evidence against her was discovered on April 23rd, when Sega Ilbo reported that Hybe discovered a document in Adore's internal files which showed that there was an attempt to gain control over management rights. The document includes sections titled Objective, which lists Keep Us Untouchable from Hybe and Final Escape as goals. The media outlet also mentions that Adore's vice president downloaded a significant amount of Hybe information before joining Adore, which was verified through computer logs. The vice president confirmed it but claimed that the documents discovered by Hybe were his private thoughts and worries, and he hadn't shared them with anyone in Adore management, including Min Hee Jin. In addition to this, Hybe's CEO Park Jiwon sent emails to the staff of Belift Lab, Adore, and Hybe. He stated that they're conducting audits to address definitive attempts to take over the company. It seems like they have internally reviewed some aspects and plan to investigate further during the audit and are planning to take strong action against those responsible. They also claim that the issues aren't related to Eyelid's debut, as Min Hee Jin said, because allegedly these plans were put in motion months ago. Not only that, but the Korean media outlets reported that Min Hee Jin's claims that Hybe didn't respond to her complaints 
complaints about Eyelet's debut were completely false. Hunk Young reported that Adore's vice president, Shin Dong-hoon, sent their first protest email on April 3rd to HYBE's CEO Park Ji-won, B-Lift Lab's CEO Kim Tae-ho, and others. In the email, Adore requested action against the choreography, plagiarism, and concept copying without their consent, urging a quick response from HYBE. Then, on April 16th, Min Hee-jin went on to email HYBE's CEO Bang Shi hyuk Scooter Braun, who's the CEO of HYBE America, and others, and accused Eyelit of copying new jeans, which she also did publicly. She questioned if HYBE's deliberate ignorance and refusal to apologize matched its founding principle of fighting against unfair practices in the entertainment industry. She also blamed the company's management style, which she thinks is the cause of all the conflict between subsidiaries. Reports also said that the email was CC'd to New Jean's parents, who are apparently aware of all that's going on. Then Tanasia said that Hybe sent her a response on April 22nd, the day before her deadline, and it was a six-page email. But despite it being true, it doesn't change the fact that Hybe purposefully dragged the issue on and took a long time to actually react to Minhejin's claims. And instead of discussing it with her further, they asked for her termination. So to paint Minhejin as this evil force in this whole ordeal is very wrong. It was confirmed on April 24th that she declined to return Hybe's requested company assets like laptops. The other Adore executives, including the vice president, all returned their laptops, but she hasn't responded to the request yet, even though the deadline has passed. This, in addition to her lack of response to the audit questionnaire, has raised public suspicion as people are wondering whether she's hiding something. Some assume that she might have plans and concepts for new genes saved in her laptop, which is why she could be refusing to hand it over, but that theory was shot down quickly. People explained that since this is an audit, the creative team won't be the ones checking the laptops, so she can't exactly refuse to show its contents. Not to mention that the laptop is a company asset, so she has to hand it over, no matter the contents. Despite Hybe's claims that Min Heejin didn't respond to the audit questionnaire, the latter said otherwise. On April 24th, she briefly mentioned she finished the questionnaire on time and sent it to Hybe, contradicting Hybe saying she wasn't responding. She also mentioned she couldn't reveal what's in the questionnaire as Hybe warned against sharing it, saying they would take legal action. But even if she didn't want to share anything, the media didn't shy away from saying more about what was found. On April 24th, Channel A News reported about Hybe's audit on a door, saying that the company had found a document called Project 1945, suggesting that Min Heejin was planning to make a door independent from Hybe. The 1945 possibly refers to the year that South Korea was liberated from Japan. The document itself allegedly talks about lawsuits and media plans, and even though they didn't show the document to anyone, the staff members apparently mentioned it to Channel A News. In response to these allegations, a door spoke to Channel A Korea and denied Hybe's claims, directly accusing them of lying. They said that the documents were private, but didn't matter as apparently they were leaked before Hybe's audit was completed and weren't even important. They said, those were simply something like personal doodles with no possibility of being realized. The document was information that had already been leaked to Hybe before the audit results even came out. This completely refutes Hybe's claims that the document was found during the audit. The biggest update yet came on April 25th, when Min Heejin held a press conference to address all the accusations that were made by Hybe to tarnish her reputation, and in a shocking turn of events, she revealed it's all media play from Hybe's side. According to the many things she exposed, she said that the claims that she was responsible for the downfall of Source Music and G Friend were unfounded and completely untrue. She did work with Source Music to make a new girl group, but then established a door and took the trainees, who then became the New Jeans members, with her. So she, in fact, did not steal the company's debut group. She observed that Source Music wasn't attracting much attention, so she took the initiative to promote auditions under her own name. Labeling it as Min Heejin's new girl group auditions, she began to see a significant increase in talented candidates, which is how she discovered Hani, Danielle, Heron, and Hye In. She also talked about how Adore came to be, and it was apparently because Bang Shi Hyuk didn't like where she was taking New Jeans because even though she had ideas, Bang Shi Hyuk didn't quite approve of them. New Jeans was really important for Hybe as they were supposed to be the first girl group under Hybe's new system. Min Heejin expressed feeling let down because many members and trainees joined thinking they would be in Hybe's first girl group. Hyun's parents were especially mad because they joined Hybe, not just Source Music. She stated that although she managed everything related to New Jeans, including songs and production, Hybe initially prevented her and the New Jeans members from leaving Source Music. This made Min Heejin question Hybe's ability to handle the debut of two girl groups simultaneously. So to rush New Jeans's debut, she tried to persuade Bang Shi Hyuk to allow her to establish a door. She argued that if New Jeans remained at Source Music, their debut would be significantly delayed as they could only debut after La Seraphine became a stable group. This conference really revealed a lot, and it seems like the mess in Hybe is bigger than we ever thought.